So the first guy is uh Sojun, and then the next one is Suho. I don't know. I mean, okay, purely just based off of these, I mean, yeah, I'm pretty easy. Smash both. <laughs> Standards low. Next. <laughs> what about you, Izzy? I'm Smash. Well, I already said, but Sojun. A hundred percent. There's like this feud, like Team Suho and Team Sojun, and I 100%. It's the new team, Edward, team Jacob. Um, oh, this is super easy for me. Based on the images of the webtoon, pass on both. Uh, well, you have no taste, so... I, they are boring to me. They are boring. No, thank you. Well, I hope the comments attack you this time. Okay, the next dude from Sub-Zero, uh, his name is... Aaron. Uh, he... Okay, so the first dude... I don't want this to sway your vote, but the first dude is royalty. This guy is a bodyguard. Oh. I, yeah, this is, gonna be a, this is a pass for me. No. Like, immediately, it's already not doing enough for me. I do like the bodyguard trope, though. I do like that trope. I mean, anybody can have, you know, an 8-6 pack, 6-8 pack, whatever he's got going on there. I mean, he's pretty good looking from the the image, but the the first guy was way hotter. Yeah. But this guy's a bodyguard. I'm into that trope. So, based off of looks, you're saying pass, but Based off of his, not personality, but his trope. His role slash looks. Yeah, I, I would say Smash. The next webtoon is, was also a highly requested one, uh, is Let's Play. The first one is Martial Law. No. Mm. Pass. Yeah, pass. Pass? Just, that's just like that? I don't like his hairstyle. I don't like the vibes that he's given off in his face. He strikes me as like... The dude who like comes up to you or like that you kind of know and he's like what no hug it's like yeah no hug like go away <laughs> <laughs> oh my god okay fair the next guy is charles no i don't really like blondes um i mean the second photo maybe but like the first one first one no again you sent us all these images with different looks it's like a different guy well they rock different hairstyles in the webtoons what do you want from me is i don't know i can't decide either way actually no he's a he's blonde i can't no pass pass i don't want i like pass. how all the dudes pass but then sam smash for both yeah she's cute i would smash her too yeah she's cute for sure definite smash she got some big knockers <laughs> She has booba. This one, I think Catherine will smash this one. Okay, this next one is Ryu. Smash! I honestly don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know either. Can we get some more context background? Yes, please. Like, does he have a tragic background or is he just like... Oh, I love tragic background. Okay. Super like arrogant. arrogant. No. And vicious individual. Love that. And All right, smash. And crushing those he smash. beneath him. Pass absolute smash yes <laughs> dominate me Thanks. i don't even know you i i would also smash hell yeah this next one for me hard hard smash okay this is from a webtoon called devil number four and this is number four. Oh, i like him oh he's so yeah smash i hate that Catherine's quiet that tells me something and i don't like that what Oh, I think he's no, cute. No, I feel like you're going to say Pat. I like him. What? No, I think he's cute. Yeah, I like him too. I think he's cute. I was waiting for all of like the content to come through. I would have said Smash from the first picture. Izzy said Smash from the first picture. But yeah, it's a Smash for me. I, I don't like the enthusiasm behind that. It does not sound very... I mean, maybe if I knew more about like the character itself you want to is this a soft smash or a hard smash? hard smash yeah i'd say hard smash i just say smash well he can seem intimidating at first he can be soft and caring even though devils are not supposed to be capable of feeling love or lust he later expresses those for the female protagonist i see yeah he's cute i'd smash <laughs> No, nah, I don't believe you. I only believed Izzy. No, nah. it's a, it's an unenthusiastic smash, but it's a smash. It's like a slow burn, like a slow burn, like you know. The next one is from a webtoon called Makeup Remover. Uh, for me, I don't know his personality. Oh, he's blonde. I don't really like blondes. You usually like blondes, Chili. Why are you saying that? Like you know? I know. Okay, I know. But I, the, okay, the blondes that I do like, their personality makes up, like, it's because of their personality mainly. 
over their uh it's not because they're blonde i prefer redheads and brunette actually this kind of looks like a blonde i would smash yeah i was gonna say i feel like i'd smash this one can you give us a personality description so we can lock it in so we can lock yeah in. can we can we get some uh background <laughs> yeah this is like a can we come back to it maybe like need to look up background information does he have any felonies outstanding warrants you know he looks like he's probably a soft, wholesome boy. So I can't really give you a. Per- there, there's no per- nobody wrote a personality for him. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna go with what we think he is, and I think is like based on the like he's giving the protagonist uh, a cup of coffee. I don't know. There's like those flowers behind him. He's putting on her makeup. He's definitely like a soft, wholesome boy. I don't know. I feel like that's a lot of like body contact in that first photo. You know who he reminds me of. Just based off of looks, uh, what's that one? Uh, made the maid oh yeah, Kaichoa made sama. He, he reminds yes. me of that. He gives me those yes. vibes. Yes, he's a the first definite picture? smash, you guys. Definite. Yes, if we're comparing to that, absolutely. I guess I'm, yeah, that's a smash. I would have to get to know him first. I don't know. We'll see. What does that mean? It's either yes or no. It means I have to gotta get to know him first. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna say soft smash for me actually because i think he's probably too soft so soft smash okay the next webtoon is called not even bones his name is uh covid and i'm not gonna lie covid <laughs> i heard the same thing Vit covid oh shit this is he, he's gonna be into some kinky thing literally feeds off of pain okay his name is covid but for some, he reminds me of Kovu. I don't know if there was like inspiration there. <gasps> he does. Wait, who's Kovu? From the light? No. You have never. She's never watched movies. She doesn't watch movies. You know this. You no. But not. But not Lion King. You not watched Lion King. Lion King two. Wait, what? Uh, no. Hello. You don't know who the Kovu is? I don't know who Kovu is. Oh my god. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> That's disappointed. Yeah. Uh, no. It doesn't ring any bells. Anyways, Izzy understands. Izzy understands. Oh, wait, wait. I was never into Kovu growing up. I do see the appeal, but I never felt that. I know a lot of girls, this was like their sexual awakening and animated yes, movies. Yes, I am girls. But I do see the similarities. Anyways, heart smash. Um, based on that little, like, he's a henchman who literally feeds off pain, pass. Like, I don't want to be in pain. I would like to enjoy myself. I'll go back to the tongue monster thing. <laughs> yeah. I want to say pass. Smash! Uh, this is from the webtoon Purple Hyacinth. His name is Kieran. I, got, I, gotta, I gotta play this right. Because last time... I was about to, I, I was about to rage at both of them for. Pain. Oh, definite smash, definite right, yeah, smash, smash, definite smash, definite smash. Definite smash. Ah, let's go, let's go. Okay, bless. Okay, thank you guys for coming, and thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.